All right, we are back on a kind of chilly Monday from spring break. <laughs> if we had spring break, it's freaking cold. All right, we are learning about in behavior polynomial functions because apparently it matters if it goes like this or it goes like this or it goes like this or it goes like this. It, you need to know that because you never know. You may be walking along a dark street one day and get held up and somebody says, what is the in behavior of this polynomial function? And you're like, I don't know. Your life may depend on it. Don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. All right. So we have these rules that somebody came up with that was probably took opium that day for their headache. And they said this. All right. Basically, if the degree of the polynomial is odd and the leading coefficient, that means the big number, when we put it in standard form, is positive. As it goes left, this is what this means. As this goes left to negative infinity, x, as y goes to negative infinity, as x goes to negative infinity. Okay, y goes to positive infinity as x goes. Basically, as x gets positive, y gets positive. As x gets negative, y gets negative. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. That's all this stuff means, okay? Now, I could sit here and read all this to you, okay? But I don't want to. All right, because it's the first day after spring break. We had a time change. Okay, a lot of us still want to be in bed with our fuzzy blanket rolled up like a, you know, like a little, you know, caterpillar. Okay, so let's just apply it. All right. So, believe it or not, we actually had to put this back in the standard form. Okay, that was on our last test, so it's a good review. Okay. All right, so standard form, let's see, what is our highest exponent? Looks like six, so we have negative seven x to the six. Pew, that one's gone. And then negative five x to the fourth. Pew. It's more fun when you pew them out. Pew. Uh-oh, that, that three looks kind of wonky. That doesn't look a whole lot better. There we go. Okay. So, here we got it in standard form. We're good to go. The degree. All right. The highest exponent right here is 6. Okay. I got that number from this because it's the highest exponent. Okay. Y'all picking, you're, y'all picking up what I'm putting down. Y'all smelling what I'm stepping in. Y'all painting what I'm priming. Okay. Is this number even or odd? Even. Okay. Is this number, the LC, the leading coefficient, okay? The big number that's with the one that told us the degree. Okay, this happens to be, all right, so this one told us the degree. This is our LC. Is this positive or negative? Negative. All right, so we have to look at our chart to find where the degree is even, but the LC is negative. Okay, degree even, LC negative, right here. Y'all see that? Leading coefficient, this is that is this is our LC. Okay. Can I can I get an acknowledgement? A head shake, a flip me off, something? Okay. Alright. So left of the graph, I'm basically copying down this part right here. So negative infinity. 
negative infinity. All right. The right of the graph. My f of x. Look, it's even written like that. f of x, that means our y goes to negative infinity as x goes to positive infinity. That's it. So instead of having to read all those examples to you, we did the problem and then found which which one ours was and filled in the information. Now, if we were all awake, you know, we had our T bomb, our Starbucksies, our caffeine, our whatever y'all ingest in your bodies to, you know get y'all going in the morning. Hopefully it's a legal substance. Uh, you know, y'all would be like, man, this is awesome. But since some y'all are like, I don't know. Can y'all hear the music from next door? I kind of wish I knew what the video they were, because it was like, Sounds like it should be like from Andy Griffin or like old school Sesame Street or something. I don't know. All right. So that was the example. Are we supposed to know everything from the example? No. Okay. That was an awesome answer. Good job, kiddos. Okay. All right, I did not go back and make these bigger. That's funny. All right, let's look at number one. Okay, first thing, we got to put this in standard fun a little bit standard form of the function. Now you'll notice that this has these little three points, two points, all this kind of stuff. This is actually what um the credit you'll get when we have a test on this. When that is, I don't know right now. It's Monday. Okay, let I'll I'll have more answers tomorrow. Okay. But these can combine. What is three minus four X? Good. Negative one X to the third. All right, I'm dancing on the music from next door. And then six minus three. I think this is from, this is from uh, two years ago when I taught this in the, in the fall and they had to do standard form, degree, terms, and all this all at once. When we had a little bit more time, we went, we were kind of like pushed up against spring break. We didn't have time to get this in. Okay. And I didn't want to rush. All right. So our degree, what is the degree of this polynomial? Three. Good job. All right. Is this degree even or odd? Odd. All right. Our LC, our leading coefficient, is this positive or negative? Negative. All right. So we're looking for a degree that is odd and an LC that is negative. Well, that's this one right here. I'm gonna re I'm gonna re snag it. I can't wait for the days that y'all can take digital notes and just do exactly what I do, not have to touch paper. Wouldn't that be an awesome option? Cause like you know y'all with your little pads and grab it and snag it. Yeah. All right. So this is it. On the left, this is, look, it's actually written on the left. 
our f of x goes to positive infinity. You don't have to put the plus, but if, you know, sometimes it helps. Goes to negative infinity. This goes to negative infinity as this goes to positive infinity. All right. Literally, the big thing about our lesson is this right here. That is the big thing about this part of the lesson today. Okay, that's it. All we're doing is once we answer these questions right here, these four things right here, we're looking at that chart that is, for y'all, it's at the top of your handout. I just happen to copy it for each one of these problems and applying what it says. That's not really that difficult, is it? It can be, but we don't want it to be. Okay. Why make something harder? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's look at number two. Standard form of the function. Let's see, this would be negative two x to the fourth minus 5x plus 1. All right. My degree is 4. That is even my leading coefficient look it's almost like somebody planned this this two words lc to be right up underneath where we would be writing the leading coefficient that is like crazy planning or coincidence or something no. negative <laughs> All right, so even and negative. It's like B-roll music for a movie. That's going to be in my head all day. All I'm doing, I went degrees even, leading coefficients negative. I just, I'm just copying down what it says. I'm literally, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm liter literally writing down what it says. I almost said the thing, you know how the, what is it? He's, what, what are we doing to witty what now? Yeah, I almost, I almost said that. Yeah. All right. Are we good? Which one is that one? Is that number two? All right, got one more. And then we get to do something fun. We get to do fake, fake math. Y'all didn't know what y'all were getting into when y'all signed up for Algebra 2. We dealt with imaginary numbers, and now we're going to do fake math. Yeah. All right, 7x to the 6th. 
minus 3x to the fifth. Those two combine, minus 8x. All right. So, the degree is 6, it is even, even, all right, this is positive, the more it goes on, the more tickled I get. Oh, it stops. Yay, the music stopped. So this negative infinity. Just writing down what it says because it's a definition. Ta da! Super duper crazy hard, right? Aren't y'all glad I didn't read the definite read all that out to y'all? I mean, I could, but I've been known to put people to sleep when I read to them. You get it? Well, you know, read not okay. What's even worse is we will have these professional development things. We were all supposed to be like highly qualified adults. You know, most of us have it, you know, all of us have our bachelors. Some of us have our, most of us have our masters. And they're like, you know, here's this, Where I'm going to read this to you. Thank you for reading me a passage that is projected that I cannot read to myself. Sorry. All right, fake math. All right. <clears throat> I'm not even going to show you long division because I know some of y'all are going to have flashbacks to sitting at the kitchen table with somebody yelling at you, trying to make you do long division. <laughs> You're going to start twitching or crying, or something, okay, all right, so, I'm going to show you what we do, okay, so it says, first we put the opposite number of the binomial in the time up box, all right, the binomial is the one that has two binomial. Okay, this is minus 5. What's the opposite of minus 5? Plus 5. Oh, goodness. Glad I wasn't holding my breath. I was turning as red as that mark right there. Okay, second, we're going to put all the coefficients across the top. Yeah, I'm using some big words, but that's okay. Basically, we're going to put all the big numbers up here. So that big number in front of the x squared is a 1. This is a 1. Okay, and then this is a 12. All right. Now, how to zoom in, you know, we got to make the main thing the main thing. All right. For whatever reason, we just drop this first number down. Okay, it doesn't matter what this first number is. It could be one, it could be two, it could be blue, it could be green. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I, I, I know it's not, it was, it was a bad joke, sorry. All right, now, what we do, we say the timeout number times this number. Okay, so what is the timeout number times this number? Five. 
5 times 1, and we put it right here. Okay, 5 times 1, we put it right here. All right, now we are going to combine. This is a positive 1, this is a positive 5, so that means we would add, okay? What is 1 plus 5? 6. Okay, now, since... We have already multiplied by this number here. We actually have to go to this one. So now we have to say 5 times 6. So what is 5 times 6? 30. And it's positive, right? Yeah. Okie dokie. So there's a positive, so we add. This is 42. All right, we're done with the numbers. Okie dokie. I know, some of y'all are like, well, what is happening? Believe it or not, we're almost done. Okay. So. We started right here with the x squared, and we divided, so we we got to take one away. So if we had two x's, one mysteriously disappeared. This is now 1x to the first plus 6 with the remainder of 42. And that's our answer. Yeah, I know some of y'all are like, what? And there's usually a couple of different questions about it. How did we get this number? How do we get this number? How do we get this number? Why is there an R? Well, because here's the deal. We got to start with one less degree than we started with in our big problem. Okay. So we start with one. We ran out. We, now we have actually, you know, none. So we have a remainder. Okay, why, why is it a timeout box? Because it's kind of up and by itself, and it reminds me, when I was in elementary school, when you pulled too many popsicle sticks or cards, you got placed in this box in the corner of the room, and you had to do your work by yourself all day. You had to eat lunch in there. You got to hear all your friends on the outside. You're in isolation, pawing at the door. Okay. Now, again, the first ones never make sense. Okay. So, let's continue with the process. Okay. So, the process says... We got to take the opposite of this number and put it in the timeout box. So I kind of made a timeout box. What is the opposite of minus three? Positive three. Okay, when they're slowly waking up, it's awesome. All right. What are our numbers in this polynomial right here, our coefficients? What's our first one? Okay, keep them coming. Six and one. Awesome. All right, we draw a little line. All right, what do we always do with the first number? Drop it down. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Sorry, I love Snoop Dogg. All right. Now, what do we do? Not 3 times 6. 3 times 1, and we get 
3 and it's positive. Okay. Six plus three is nine. All right. Three. Now we go three times nine. Twenty seven. It's positive. We add. We get twenty eight. So our answer. We started with a second, okay? So this is x plus nine, remainder of 28. We could do long division, y'all wanna do long division? Talk to some of the other Algebra two kids in the other Algebra two classes. All right, let's try number five. Process says. The opposite of this. Okay. Huh? Negative. I couldn't hear you. That's why I was. That was the do that was the one appointment I didn't make. Ah. Oh. Normally, uh, normally teachers try to make all the appointments that they uh, can't get to during the school year, during spring break, in fall break. So this would be two, negative one, and five. Didn't make the hearing doctor. One. All right. So we drop the two, like our friend Snoop Dogg says. Okay. Now, <clears throat> What is negative 2 times 2? Negative 4. All right. Now, negative 1 minus 4 is negative 4. Five. This negative two times negative five is positive ten. So this is fifteen. That's a weird looking one. All right, so we only have two x minus. 5, remainder of 15. Now, we can have some that will have a remainder of 0. We just haven't came across those yet. Okay. We go with number five, ready to keep rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah. No, I combine negative one and negative four. Yeah. This was a lot easier to follow when I had this uh, 
like I had a disappearing pen on the other software I used to use and there and kids were like, ah, but I don't have disappearing pen now. I miss disappearing pen. Womp womp. All right, number six. Number six looks a little different. We can go ahead and get our timeout box ready. We can get this line ready. Do y'all see something missing? Huh? Yeah, there's not a third number. There's not an X term. It goes X squared to our constant. When we're writing our coefficients, we would actually have to write 1, 0, and 25. And we have to do that because this is for the X squared, the X term, and the constant. Okay? No, that shouldn't be ringing. That's that's not even right for. That's not even right for if for the last time. Please excuse the bell. We are not releasing for first block. Please go back to class. <laughs> <laughs> what? Was just trying to tell somebody they couldn't park there? Did you hear that? Hey, man, you can't park there. This is 25. Wow. No, that's not 25. My head's somewhere else. The, be the bell ringing kind of got me flustered. Not flustered. I'm just out of sorts. 5 times 5 is 25. Not x squared. x plus 5 remainder 50. That's funny that the bell rang. Not only the bell rang, the bell even rang at the wrong time. Like, that would have been, let's see, rang at 859. So that would have been 7.59. That wasn't even the right time. That was... Can't have nothing. Alright, just hold tight. We're, we're almost done. We're closer than Bon Jovi. I'm glad at least one person got that. Three. Okay, thank you. Other people, I'm sorry if y'all don't get it. Negative two, 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 two. Uh oh. We're missing a squared term this time. So one, zero, negative two, eight. One, negative. 
negative 2. Yes, every, whatever it, what, I'm sorry, whatever it starts, like if it's to the fifth, every power has to be recognized, even if it doesn't, ha isn't there. Yeah. The next one, yeah. Yeah, I know, it's weird. I blame drugs. Positive four. Negative two. I'm glad you asked that question. I was just over here having me a good old time doing math. Didn't really explain that very well. And some of y'all are like, he was just having fun doing math. Huh? Oh, that should be a positive two. Yeah, that, that was all jacked up. Thank you. See, my mind just went into neutral. I've been doing this so long. Positive two. Yeah. There's not an X squared term. So just like up here where there wasn't an X term, we had to add a zero. Did you catch that on the last one? Yeah. Okay. So this would have made this negative four. Did I get that right this time? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> it's only uh, just a few numbers off. All right. So I noticed this this morning after I'd already made all the copies as, you know, things happen. There's a plus or minus right there. All right. Y'all get to decide if we're going to keep it a positive or a negative for the rest of the day. Do y'all want this to be positive or negative? Positive. Okay. Awesome. So let's just do this. This is now, we deem this positive. Okay. So in the timeout box, we're going to put a negative four. All right. There are powers missing. Okay. It goes four, three, two. So for our X to the first, we have to put a zero. So, negative 12, positive 18, 
I can't believe I did a plus or minus. How did I do that? It's kind of like, hey, you actually fixed your shower, but you didn't know that. All right. So we drop it be negative four. Hopefully I won't mess up this time, but y'all check me, okay? Negative 16. Wow, this got ugly quick. This is like a bad first date. Not like the first date that the girl had where she went back to the, you know, basement with those, you know, barn doors. Dude, I got to get my calculator for this. Oh, there goes my remote. I thought that was 82. <laughs> this is awesome. Cheese and crackers. Oh my gosh. Huh? At times, uh, no, at times negative four times eighty two. Yeah, it, it kind of goes in this pattern, like this times this, then it goes timeout times this, then timeout times this, then timeout times this, and timeout times this. Well, actually, it doesn't do that because we ran out of stuff. Oh my gosh, that was gross. I will try to not have a problem that gross on your that that's like punishment. I think. This is what the CIA does to try to like get people when they capture people. They make people do these problems without a calculator as they yell at them to make them give them answers. I could see this being a form of torture. Yeah. All right, let's just move on this. Making me vomit. 
All right. Last thing. Hooray, we're almost done. Positive two. We're missing some stuff. We're missing an x squared term. Womp womp. Two, zero, negative 15, 23. So, time out times 2 is 4. This gives me 4. Time out times 4 is 8. This gives me negative 7. This gives me negative 14. This gives me nine. Ha! Two, four, seven. Two x squared plus four x minus seven. Remainder nine. All right. Woohoo! We're done. Thank goodness. That last problem, I'm still like nauseous. Like, ooh, like I need some Zofran. All right. I. I, you know, if after that last problem on number eight, if you don't hit like subscribe hit the bell, it's okay. I wouldn't do it after that one either. All right. But good stuff. Good things. Roll tight.